Okay, we're going to do a short video here, uh, Hummel Aircraft, for the new style uh, H5 uh, suspension landing gear with a new style scissor link. Uh, so this one is pretty much installed. I wanted you to kind of see how it goes together. Um, so <clears throat> uh, scissor assembly, these two scissor links, uh, bushing, 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 holds those together. And then the bottom, the part that moves up and down, okay? uh, this is a retainer. And then, uh, so this, you know, uh, with no weight on the airplane, um, this will stop it from extending all the way out. Okay. So this bottom part, nothing's tight here for the video, just to kind of show you how it goes together. Kind of show you how this goes together here. This bottom section, so the bottom uh, section here is where the axle goes through um, for the wheel and the, and the brake assembly. So uh, and if you take a look at the plans, it talks about putting a uh, dowel in there. So the dowel sticks up about an eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch out of the tube afterwards. So we're going to get it in there like that. The bottom um, pivot, there's, you can see there's already bushings in this stuff. So all these bushings are replaceable. Um, so you can, you know, stuff starts to wear, you can replace all the bushings. This little uh, notch or this key feature um, allows us to put this on the bottom gear and that key locks it from moving. So it's gonna hold it perpendicular to the axle. And then with your kit of parts, okay, you're gonna use uh, three stainless rivets and just spread them out, one, two, three, around the um, perimeter while holding that down tight against the axle hole. And what that does, it keeps it from moving around and that'll hold that in position. Okay. So, and then the bottom pivot is the one I showed you here a second ago. Um, the, bear, the bushings are in this part, but in between, uh, make sure you put in um, a flat bushing and the bolt goes through that. So, We'll slide this one back in position. So again, that would be um, after you paint and do everything you want to do, you're going to put this on, rivet it in position, and make sure you rivet it when the dowel is in there. Um, if you rivet it before you put the dowel in, then you can't get the dowel all the way down to the bottom. So that's the bottom piece uh, of this assembly. The top of the assembly, allows us to set our toe in and our toe out. Okay. So the top of the assembly looks very similar as to the bottom, except it slides on the tube. And after you've installed the landing gear on the airplane, this is the same landing gear um, design that we pretty much always had. After you set it on the airplane, this is your toe in and your toe out. There's two slots there. So you put the AN3 bolt that's supplied. You can go down or up, it doesn't really matter. I would put it down. So you put that bolt through the holes, both holes, and then you snug up the um, nut underneath. So again, after this is all assembled, everything's tight, um, and you've got the uh, uh, weight on the wheels of the airplane, you can use that little bit of adjustment here to set the toe in and toe out. And again, you want no toe in or toe out, you want them parallel. Then you can lock those bolts down and that'll hold that. So that, as they're working their way up at the bottom, We've got the bottom part of the scissor. We've got the scissors. This retention device that's here, as I showed you earlier, when you put it all back together, again, and you tighten things down, you don't want to tighten things down enough so things jam. And these are nylock, so once they're tight, they're not going to back off because there's really no rotational force going on. Um, so <clears throat> tighten things up enough that everything moves freely. Um, but that there's no slop in it. And there shouldn't be any slop at all. All these holes are very tight and everything's machined very, very well. Up in the top part of this assembly, if you look at the plan set, it talks about putting another dowel up there. About 12 and a quarter inches or so will go up into this tube. <clears throat> and then the uh, die spring. So inside of the tube is what we're looking at, right? So this will be inside the tube. And then the dowel, the, um, Die spring will be in there. And then this uh, 
a piece of aluminum tube goes in there and that's the stop tube it kind of stops it from over compressing okay. so once that's inside you can kind of visualize then that this will be inside of that and that gets you your suspension and this travel is about the same as that travel on the landing gear okay so this is what you're going to get with the full uh, the two mains for the h5 um, assembly so you get the scissor lengths of the upper and the lower um, the lower mount okay? and again the bushings are already pressed in them um, these are standard size bushings 5 16 OD quarter inch uh, ID bushing so as as time goes on you fly the airplane a bunch you can replace all of this stuff and then all the little bushings in between are simply quarter inch um, bronze bushings again super easy to replace uh, super inexpensive, and they last a really long time. Um, the other thing to mention is to make sure you oil this inside so this tube and everything slides in the oil. Um, might be a good idea is if you take the wood dowel and maybe spin it on a grinder and put like a spiral in it. Uh, so when you dribble oil from the top, it'll dribble down through the uh, spiral and kind of keep everything lubricated. Um, the stuff comes to you like this, not painted, because um, you can paint or do, do whatever you want. Just remember on this part, uh, the only part that you're going to paint, if you're going to paint any of it, is going to be this bottom section after this is already uh, riveted in, because uh, the axle needs to go in there. This can't have paint on it because it'll rub inside the tube. This can have paint on it everywhere uh, if you want, except for on the end where the upper upper mount goes. You don't want to paint that. It's a really nice tight fit. And if you paint it, you're just going to scrape the paint off anyway. All right? So that's how it works. So it sits on the airplane, as you know, in this format um, with the gear forward. So the scissor assembly is, is aft. It's in the back. So again, these two little slots allow you to set your toe in and toe out after your whole assembly is on the airplane. Okay, so you're not going to shim with washers or any of that. All this, all the adjustment is done here in these slots, right? So everything gets tightened up uh, good with these AN3s, um, and don't forget to rivet those three in place. Okay, so that's the new assembly. Uh, the plans have not been updated for this yet. Um, if you're scratch building uh, gear, these parts are a little hard to machine for a home builder. Um, so we're going to leave the plans the way they are. If you're buying a kit, uh, these are how the parts are going to come to you because we were able to do the CNC work um, for you. Okay, Hummel Aircraft.